I think the dogs want to join us. No, we've eaten them all. <laughs> Cro uh, crop. <laughs> you get you in here. <laughs> Half the first lot because. <laughs> rosella jam well six months ago we planted these little pots of rosellas and they have just grown now nicole's dad used to grow rosellas too when she was a kid and he used to make rosella jam so she's been googling recipes and she's going to show us today how to make rosella jam cordial and tea so let's get cooking so michelle did i realized that um when i was looking online that you can actually pick these yeah and freeze them Oh, great. So just in case you don't have enough in your crop, you can freeze them and then um, pull them out when you've got more. You can pull them out and add them all together and make whatever you want. Great. <laughs> all right, we're done. Okay, so Nicole, we've just picked all these lovely rosellas yeah. for our jam and our yeah. cordial yeah. And, yeah. and our tea. Yeah, yes. so we're going to try some tea. So I haven't done it very much yet, Michelle, so we'll <laughs> see how we go. <laughs> so these ones here, we'll just give them a bit clean. Yep. Just in case there's some bugs or whatever. Just, just try and get If there's a little bit of dirt on them or whatever, it just gets makes them not stick. Like, and when we pick them, we'll just check them and make sure there's no bugs in there as well. So we've had a really good crop, haven't we, Michelle? We have, yeah. So a few bushes have been loaded. I know. I don't think we'll be able to make enough jam. <laughs> we've got so many of them. So we're just going to peel all these now. So we take all the callus off the outside, which is like the petal. Yeah. And then the inside is the seed pod. And it's green. <laughs> And, and that's, that's where we get our pectin. Yes. So all the pectin. So rosella jam is really good because you don't have to worry about putting any extra pectin in there. Love it. Which is what thickens it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, and when we peel it, we just check and make sure there's no little bugs in there. Of course. <laughs> We've been very lucky. Yes. <laughs> we haven't had many bugs at all. No, so at all. you can just have a little look around the edges. You see how nice and clean they are. Yeah. That's it, and throw it in there. Oh, see, that one's a dodgy one. It's got something in there. We're not going to use that. Nope. <laughs> Reject. <laughs> so, Michelle, these are the ones we did yesterday. They look pretty cool, hey? Do. We've got a lot in there. Yep. It's good. So, with some of these, we'll add to our jam. And then the rest, we'll see if we can make some tea. Sounds good. So, it's really easy to do the tea. So, all we need to do is we just put them on some baking paper, make sure they're spread out quite a bit. And then you put them, you can either put them in a dehydrator, but we don't have a dehydrator, mm -hmm. so, which is fine. That's perfectly okay. All we need to do now is we stick this in the oven on a very low heat, only probably about 100 degrees, oh, okay. 120 degrees. Keep an eye on it. And then we leave it in there for about four to six hours. Just keep an eye on it. And we're going to sterilise our jars after in the oven as well. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good temperature to sterilise the jars as well. So that's it. Easy. All right. Tea. There we go. All we're right. Done. Easy. Okay. Let's tip it all together. together. Yep. Oops, sorry. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Next part, Michelle, is we need to, with these feed pods, we need to just cover those with water. So just enough. Sure. <laughs> so all we're doing is just cutting, I'm putting a little slice in the pod and that just helps get more of the pectin out. Okay. And we don't have to do a lot of them, just pick a few up, little slice in them. And it just all it does is just helps the pectin come out. So okay. I'll probably do it, not doing the same one over and over again. <laughs> Throw it to one side, Michelle. <laughs> Throw, pick one up this side. <laughs> Rosella jam. Yeah. <laughs> and just cook for about half an hour. Let it boil for the jam. After the jam, half an hour, just let it boil. 
All right, next. Okay, this is for a cordial. Cordial. Don't have to peel them at all. You're just about, oh, man. about 48. <laughs> for a few more, we've got plenty to spare. All right, there we go. That's about, about 48. 48. Okay, <laughs> and the next thing that we need, now we're gonna make this as a sugar-free cordial. Okay, so we are using some artificial sweetener. Good. So we need about two and a half litres of water, and I think that's two litres, so yeah, okay. just chuck some of that in. This is real easy. Real easy. And then we need these little, um, I didn't have any lemons, but these are lemonades from our lemonade tree. Perfect. At home, so, and I think it gives it a nice taste. So we'll just juice those as well. All right, here's our two litres. Half, yeah. Beautiful, hey. Lemonade, smell it. Yeah, really, really nice. good. We um normally have these in winter, just juiced. We don't put it with water. Yeah, they're so sweet. You don't yeah. need to put anything. Even so, in yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You, you use that with that. Gosh, that works well, doesn't it? <laughs> A lot better than this one. <laughs> Gonna get into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm chuck it out. Do the cut on the shelf. <laughs> oh, that's actually gonna work. It's a good little thing. I'll boil this first. Boil huh? this first oh. and then put it in once it boils. Okay. So put this over here. Turn that one on. Okay. There we go. And that's it, Michelle. We just leave that boil for a while and we put the sugar and the lemon and, the lemon. and or the sweetener and the lemon in and then strain it. Cordial. To go. Yeah. And you put them face down or you want them yeah. up? No, that way perfect. And the lids? The lids, I don't sterilise the lids. Okay. I'm worried that they'll drop. Oh, yeah. Love the way you are filming us doing dishes as if this never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Should get you in here. <laughs> Swap jobs, James. <laughs> I was wondering what the cloths are for. Yeah. We had them hanging. We had them hanging in our kitchen. Is that really? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. But drying dishes, I think. I've heard about that. <laughs> okay. Stick these jars in. Just a low temperature, just to sterilise them. Other people might sterilise differently, but this is the best way I've found. Wash them, put them in the oven, ready to go. All right, well, let's put the kettle on. Yeah, this is wearing me out. I like the kettle. <laughs> and I made a nice slice. Coconut, oh, and I used some of Nicole's rosella jam. Yeah, the quiches you made from our eggs, you got them with you? No, we've eaten them all. <laughs> 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 but I did boil your egg. <laughs> she boiled me an egg. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, kettle's on. Right. Boiled eggs, mandarin, or your slot. <laughs> so this is being made with your rosella jam from a previous batch. Yes. And Michelle's the super cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean that <laughs> politely. Oh, Sorry, Mum. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you that. It may not. Right, you've already had your three. <laughs> <laughs> There's a piece left. <laughs> no, that's your second bit, Kelly. <laughs> so I just double strain it. Right. Okay. So then. Take this off. So this is just the cordial. This is the back one, the cordial, no? I oh, know this one's cordial. cordial. I swapped them over. Before. Is that, oh, yeah. Is yeah. that yeah. And then I'll just tip it into the strainer. If they fall out a bit, Michelle, that's okay. That's no drama. Mm -hmm. And see how they've got really soft? Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, has it come out of the thing? Okay. <laughs> okay, so then all we need to do is put the liquid back on. See, that's hot. Add the rest of our things now. So we'll put this over here. Okay, so what we need now is we've got some, because I'm making it sugar free, we'll use some artificial sweetener. So this is just one that's made from stevia. You can use whichever you like. Whatever your preference is, you can use it. So it's two cups. This is actually two cups. Okay. So it's easy. I'll just tip the whole lot in. So that in, mm. stir it in, then we put it in. Mm. And I just oh, add, yeah. yeah, I just add a quarter of a, a half a cup of raw sugar as well, just to give it that little bit more sweetness. Okay. So you put that in there. Pour your in yeah. So you have to remember, like you're diluting it. So yeah. it sounds like a lot, but because you're diluting it, that's all good. And then we put that back on the stove again. Do you want to use citrus in? The uh, not just yet. Yeah. We'll boil this first and then we'll put that in after. Okay. Stove. And we we'll just do that for another 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And then we'll put in the, the citrus, citrus acid, acid and that. And the lemon. Got it. So this is our pectin. So the same thing. We're just straining the liquid off. Same thing if it does go a bit over, it's not. I just like to get the um, if there's any nasty little bits in it, just now we'll just <laughs> so you're just doing this until the seed pods are soft. So, yeah, beautiful, not straining out of there for a while, is it? <laughs> just with the spoon, you can just give it a little shuffle around coming through. Beautiful. Okay, once again, we need to get rid of these seed pods. So we'll chuck them in my compost oh, again. Lots of seed pods with compost. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now, what we do now is we put the... <laughs> Lots of compost. Yeah, it's cool, man. <laughs> so the next job is to put the petals, petals into petals. here. There. So the petals can go straight in. You just gotta put the whole lot in. Whole lot goes straight in. Just like that. So all we're doing now is putting this pectin that we've just made back in with the petals. That's you all we're doing. Oh, well, we'll put this in here, then we boil it down, and then for 20 minutes. You're only doing it for 20 minutes, and then we'll tip it back out, measure okay. it, and then that's the amount of sugar that we'll use. Alright. They say to make the petals covered. Now I found that you don't really need any more water. It breaks down pretty quickly. So okay. it's fairly you can see the no, liquid there, so it's not quite covered, but I found that it's easier. It does break down really quickly. Put that back on the stove for about I've found 30 minutes is better. Okay. So 20 between 20 and 30 minutes. Just have a look at it and see once it's broken down. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Pop that one back on. Turn it back on. 20 minutes. Okay, so our jars, are probably our jars are done, so we'll get yeah. them out ready yeah. to go. Just to add to the flavour of the rosella cordial, sugar-free rosella cordial, we add five, well, we've used lemonades, juice from five lemonades. So we'll tip that in there as well. Right one. Yeah. So it's already boiling. So that's why we're tipping this in now. You just need to wait for it to boil. Um, 
tip that in there. And then we put one tablespoon of citric acid. So pop that in there. Pop that in there as well. And then we'll give it another stir. And that's looking awesome. And that's 20 minutes. And 20 minutes for that. And then we just let it cool a little bit and we put it in our bottles. Okay, so our cordial is ready to put in our bottles, Michelle. Okay, good. Hopefully we'll have oh, yeah. a bottle or two there. So put it up here, tip it into the jug. Right. That'll make it easier to tip into our bottles that way. So tip it straight into here. Look at that beautiful colour. Oh, not wrong. Okay, okay. I'll just do that much for now. Tip that right. first. Right. Shall we get so many wine bottles from? <laughs> it's tasty wine. Um, I asked the neighbours. So just watch the, just watch the bubbles coming out. You might want to do the next one and let those bottles just. I'll take the rest of this in for you if you like. A bit of a top up. For now, yeah. If only we had grandkids to give them all this red cordial. <laughs> it's healthy cordial. It's payback. <laughs> That's what I found. I had just over two bottles. That's good. This is our forty-eight. Beautiful, that's awesome. Look at oh, that. So okay, next job, we'll put our lids on that so we keep that nice and fresh. So put them on, nice and tight. And this should store for up to 12 months. Mm. So they're glass bottles, awesome. got nice seals on those lids. So and that some soda water, I reckon, would be really nice. Yeah, it'd be delicious. <laughs> Beautiful. That's okay. the cordial. So this again is our jam. So we have to measure the amount of pulp that we've got, and then you put equal parts pulp to sugar. sugar. Right. We put a little bit less for sure. Yes, I know you do. That's good. <laughs> so look at that beautiful pulp. Yeah, beautiful. All right. It's broken down really nicely. Nice. That's our pulp. So we need to measure that. So I'm thinking we probably need both those. Let's see how we go. We usually get about eight cups, so this is a little messy. Making a big mess. That's it. Is that eight? Is it eight or seven? Not quite. Probably only seven. That's okay, that's good. Okay, seven. So we might so seven, we might put six cups of sugar in. So we tip this back into here. Now that we've measured it, we measure six cups of sugar, hey? Six cups of sugar. It does sound like a lot. <laughs> I use raw sugar too, so it's a little bit different to us. Some people use white sugar, but raw sugar I prefer. Let's have four cups. Right in. in. Yep, tip her in. And another two. Another two, yep. More. Throw that one in. Two cups. And then just a squeeze of the lemon juice as well, Michelle. Right. So just give it a nice stir. Like that. Yep. Oh. Beautiful. A little tiny bit more. Excellent. So we're just stirring that through. And then we'll put it back on the heat for about 25 to 30 minutes. The last batch I thought was a bit thin, but Michelle assured me it was perfect. It was perfect. So pop this back on. So 
So it must be ready. But before we make that decision, we're going to do a little test. All right. So what we do for the test is we have a little bowl and we just put it in the freezer for a little while just to make it nice and cold. And then we get a little sample out of our pot. Right there. And then we'll just tip a little tiny bit on the plate. And you let it just sit there for a couple of seconds. And then what we do is we tip it and make sure it doesn't move too much when we tip it. So see how it's nice and jelly, mm. it's staying quite firm. It sure is. Moving along. And then what you do is you just rub your finger through the middle of it and make sure that it doesn't join up in the middle. And then you know that it's ready. Do you know how that? <laughs> <laughs> and then we know that it's ready. I think it's ready. Okay. Okay, so we'll tip this into the jug and then we'll go from there. Hopefully I won't splash it too much, Michelle. I'm going to go down the edge side. There you go. We'll start with that bit. All right. Let's pour it in. Do it. Now just be careful because they will be hot. Yes. So tea towel or something too. Tighten them. So the idea with this is the lids will suction back down and that's what helps keep it. Okay, good. Is that the right way? Yeah, it keeps the air out. <laughs> keeps the air out. And these should last for up to 12 months. That's Once we've sealed them properly. Once it cools down, then that's when it starts to thicken. So they say it can take up to 24 hours to thicken as well. Oh, okay. So um, hopefully it will be a good batch. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, Michelle, tea is ready. The tea is ready. It's been a process, but <laughs> it's been, what, about mm, between five and a half, about five and a half six, hours, six yeah, hours? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. So, and it's been on a very low heat, so you've got to remember it's very low heat. About 120? Yeah. We've had it turned off. So you can see the leaves have changed oh, colour. Oh, look at that. So, so we'll just leave it there. So we'll just let it cool down. So then once it cools down, we can put it in an airtight container. And then... Yes, our tea. tea. There's our tea. All done. So we'll... Later on, we might get the boys in here. We'll have some cordial, rosella cordial. We might even have some rosella tea. We could have some jam on toast. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> happy. Yeah, it is. Ta da! We're done. Shop, isn't it? <laughs> Don't make out if you do this all the time. Right? <laughs> okay, so we've got the rosella tea. We've put yeah. a little dash of honey in there. Just okay. where, now, this is untried. So, untested. Untested. Yeah, right. And then we've got the, well, we've tried the Rosella cordial, so we. It's got to be better than that. You need Tulsi. Basil, I tried the last that. episode. So, <laughs> so, which one would you like to try, Ross? How about the tea? I've tried the cordial. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Michelle's made some of the sugar free. I'll try that. Yeah. Mm. When do we get into the plump? That is the plump. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Sorry, the plump. it's cordial. <laughs> What would you like? To, well, I'll try to, to find out. Yeah, next episode. Are you guys try it? Tides out. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. Thanks, cheers. Mmm. Jam on toast.